And this is what a brake warning tab rubbing against the rotor sounds like. And today we'll be replacing the front brake pads and rotors on the Honda Civic. We want to start off by loosening the wheel while it's on the ground. Now we lift the car so the front wheel is off the ground. I'm lifting the front of the vehicle's pinch weld. And you always want to use a jack stand. Now we can remove the wheel completely. This rotor has a lot of grooves and should definitely be replaced. Now to remove the brake caliper. If the sliding pin spins with the bolt, you can use a 19mm wrench to hold it. After removing the two bolts, the caliper just slides out. These brake pads were pretty close to being metal to metal. And now to remove the caliper bracket. There's two bolts holding the bracket as well. After removing the two bolts, the caliper bracket just slides out. There's two screws that hold the rotor to the hub, but in this case there's only one. In many cases, the screws are on there pretty tight. This impact driver set removes those screws really good. All you do is tap it with the hammer and it loosens the screw. To remove the rotor I like using a bolt and spraying some WD-40 on the hub area of the rotor. And as you can see, it makes it pretty easy. And these are the two new rotors and the brake pads I'll be using. You want to clean off the rotor with brake cleaner so you remove the coating that prevents the rotor from rusting. And you always want to make sure that your rotor is exactly the same. Now we can install the rotor. And next comes the screw. Well, if you're not using new hardware, you could clean off the surface. Now we can add some brake lubricant to the caliper bracket hardware. I find that brake lubricant works a lot better than NECs.
Next, we want to compress a brake caliper piston. You want to wipe down the area around the piston. A lot of people recommend opening the bleeder valve as you compress the piston, but I do not as to avoid bigger problems, like allowing air into your system, the bleeder screw getting damaged, or not being closed completely. But as you compress your brake caliper piston, you want to keep an eye on the brake master cylinder level so that it doesn't overfill or spill out. And now to compress a brake caliper piston. You want to use an old brake pad and a tool. And all you do is keep tightening it and the piston will compress. Now we can install the caliper bracket. Now we can install the brake pads. And we want to add brake lubricant to the part where the caliper touches on the brake pad. and where the piston presses on the brake pad as well. And you want to clean off the old grease from the pins. and use the brake lubricant on it. And now reinstall it and do the rest. And now we can reinstall the caliper. Next we install the wheel. And lastly, I torqued the wheel to 100 foot-pounds.
done, you want to pump the pedal a few times till the pedal gets hard. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video informative.